Today could be my lucky day. I'm riding by this old TV station, which has been abandoned here for many years, and the gate is open. Normally when I would drive by here, the gate would be closed, and of course, being an abandoned location, no one would be around. But today it's open, so I'm gonna walk down this road and see if there is someone down here that I might can talk to because I would love to explore this old building. There's something about urban decay and watching how time takes its toll on old places and structures, particularly things like TV stations, radio stations, schools, malls, you know, those type things where people used to congregate. And in the case of a TV station, I mean, it's like the like the nerve center of the town, you know. So hopefully there could be someone down here to talk to. We'll find out. So far I don't see any sign of any uh, truck or car. This has not been maintained in a long time, you can tell. This is an old, looks like 50s vintage style architecture. I know for some internet research I've done that this uh, TV station was built in 1960 and was occupied until 1978, at which time they moved to a new location. And apparently then the building was uh, closed up at that time. And for a while I know they maintained the uh, grounds around it for several years because I always thought about coming to see what it would look like inside an old abandoned TV station. But for the past uh, few years, they've just kind of let it go, I think. So there appears to be no one around. There's an old entrance there I think we can get into or take a look around. Being a proper urban explorer, I never take anything from a site or disturb anything. All I do is look and video. Nothing much here to see. Any furniture or anything like that has been removed. You can tell the roof is gone, basically. By that I mean it's just full of holes. Once the roof becomes compromised and rainwater is allowed in, it's pretty much downhill in a hurry. So, knowing this is an old TV station, the first thing I think about is uh, what did old local stations do? They had news, they had weather, and network programming and some local. And what do I see here? It looks like news, weather, and sports to me. I assume in the center would be like the news anchor. And probably over on the right would be the sports person. And over on the left, weather, my guess. And where I'm standing would be where you would have the, the old large TV cameras that could move around. And could that actually be an old anchor desk? Maybe. From the 70s, possibly? Well, if it closed in 1978, it would have to be, wouldn't it? And look, that's probably a green screen there, a built-in green screen for the weather person. And over that blue section, that blue door, I see broken glass. It's uh, slanted down like it's an observation uh, deck up there of some kind where you can probably go up there and look down on what's going on here in the studio part. I 
I'm thinking your run-of-the-mill teenage uh, vandal graffiti writers here. Help me, help me. So this place must have been open for quite a while. I mean, the gate's standing open. Let me out of here. There's, it looks like one of what's that called? A Satan five-pointed star. The usual run-of-the-mill graffiti. Help me, help me. Goodbye. A lot of imagination, write the ABCs and then goodbye. There's a roar coming from outside like an electrical motor or blower or something. That would be the transmitter tower and a little metal building back there that must be coming from there. One thing for sure, there's nothing transmitting from this location. Broken glass from that window above. Crunch, crunch. I would guess that would be men's and women's restrooms. These stairs, uh, they're so covered with litter, I can't tell. I think they might be concrete, which is good. These rails still seem substantial. They seem pretty strong. Looking out through the broken window down into the studio. I don't know what all this would be. I have no idea. You see the broken glass there. So we'll head on back down the stairs.
looks like the front entrance. I guess this would be what you'd call the lobby. And a little window there. Interesting, the door's locked. So this uh, used to be a lawn out here that was kept maintained for a long time. And now obviously it has not been done because the trees are growing up here now. I'm not sure how long, but I think these trees could be, I don't know, three to five years old. Which means at some point they quit maintaining the old building, apparently. So the, I guess this would be the main entrance to the front. You'd come up from the driveway and walk up the sidewalk. Okay, let's go back in through the lobby. Ferns are growing out of the carpet. So if you came into this station, you would come in and you'd probably go to that window and talk to someone in that office. And probably there would be furniture sitting around in this lobby like a couple of sofas, chairs, and don't forget ashtrays back in those days. Let's walk back through. Help me, help me. The sunlight is out now, or the sun is out, I should say, shining down through the roof with a pattern. There's that green screen to the left. I can see the weather person now standing there. There's your news anchor there in the center. Think of all the local TV personalities that came and went from 1960 to 1978 in this building. As with all urban explorers, uh, I don't give out an exact location, but there are clues. It looks like a pile of old plumbing uh, type fixtures of some kind. Probably not, but I don't know what else it is. At some point they must have had some old trailers that had to expand. Needed space maybe. So let's just walk back and take a look back there. I see an old satellite dish. Too bad there wasn't someone here we could talk to about this place. But I was just lucky enough to find it wide open. The power meter looks like it's been removed there, so that little building has no power. Wide open. Now this transmitter still seems to be uh, running. I mean, you can hear the roar there. I guess uh, air conditioning for one thing, probably. Obviously, it's not transmitting any signal from this old derelict of the building. But maybe a local station uh, TV or radio could be using the tower to transmit. The 
the signal being sent in by wire? I don't know. Let's check out this old satellite dish. I assume this is 1970s dish technology. If it closed in 78, I mean it would have to be, wouldn't it? I'm not sure when they started using the uh, this type of transmitting technology. I don't think it was 60s. Probably a little later, maybe 70s. I don't know if it was a two-way communication or just receiving only. Maybe they got their uh, signal from the network and then transmitted it out over the tower. Just a guess, I don't know. Well, let's head on back to the highway where I parked. This was really lucky being able to walk in here and look at this today. I wanted to talk to someone. You see the gate's wide open. There's your little clue there. Call letters of the station. The reason I think these gates have been here for a while, they're just kind of stuck and you can tell they haven't been moved. And there's weeds that have grown up all around it. There, the sign is about to uh, crack in half there and finally fall down. So I hope you enjoyed this little urban exploration.